いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。さあ、わかりました。Charge five million yen just to start a lease, and then it's five hundred k every month. Even on soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee twenty million, then a million a month. What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation, and he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them, and I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. But here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home. Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe 
She still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up! Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Uh, even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? And depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! Damn. Hmm? So...
Yeah. Hey, Sonny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Namba. How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Bukoda. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh. What time are we having breakfast? Uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them! Put some elbow grease into it, for goodness sake! Stop slacking off! Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Mm, doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah. I don't know exactly what they ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. Uh, rumor has it, the program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> no, because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're gonna have their best security on the excellent course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, you need one of the full-timers' keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! Yes, ma'am. Right away. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh, off-limits to us contractors. Oh, damn it! I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up.
to be scared now. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Good night now. Okay. Okay. Hold on. What was that? No. Yo.
What? to go then. If you just remit that amount, ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Oh. I see. Sure.
いらっしゃいませ。What's going on there? This is a freaking dump. Uh, supposedly, it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? Looks more like a hoarder's house. They really getting customers like that? Hmm. I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible, and it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Oh, I wish they'd do something about it. Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Hopefully it won't be long. Yeah.
Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> What the? Uh... You're the fuckers with the baby formula. Oh. Sorry to bother you boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, Chief! You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys! Let's pacify this bitch! Sir! Apologies for barging in here, but this... this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well... actually... I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your... Uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Days a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. My names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys! Get these two some new baby formula, on the double! Yes, sir! Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand, and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on, you'll just be a little late. <laughs> old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little bit strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child, but all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? Uh, what? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. 
Babies are weak, delicate creatures, very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp, so we need a little back pad. <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night, we'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh... Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father, after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. That's God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, what say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper? Huh? Boys? Get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Let me go. Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh.
ありがとうございます。
ever thought about getting rid of all this trash? Uh, but it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? Uh, I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late, and she passed on. Ah, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. To think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san, I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. <sighs> I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... <sighs> I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her. <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. And I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? Huh? I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two worked so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh, Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. You might want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you going to do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sneak a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take off. See ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. Ugh, I'm telling you, the man's gone overboard! He's polluting a precious natural resource! Let me assure you, we're doing everything we can to stop him. Something happened over there? The river's gonna run yellow as mustard at this rate! 
I highly doubt it'll be changing colors, ma'am. Either way, you get that menace to relieve himself elsewhere! <clears throat> Uh, why me? So we got a public pisser on our hands, huh? That's nasty. Bet that cop's not too happy about it. Excuse me. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. それでは。Yeah. Silver, you got a real nice shine there, bud. Promise I'll take good care of you. Hmm?
ございました。